Is there anything Donald Trump could do that would cause you not to vote for him? Well, obviously, I mean, I'm not going to vote for someone that, if you put a gun to someone's head and, you know, but right now we got a rapist in the White House, so. I'm sorry, a what? Rapist. How do you know that? How do I know it? Because he's been accused by more than one woman of it. Donald Trump was accused by 20 women of sexual assault, and in one case, a judge said that he raped a woman. Yeah. So you had a rapist in the White House with Donald Trump. We don't have a total crook in the White House, so he's sending money to Ukraine, and it's coming back to him. Not all of it, of course, but a good portion of it. It's called protecting the piggy bank. These interactions that David Schuster has with these MAGA supporters at rallies is less comical than it is educational if you really pay close attention to what their explanations are for their beliefs. This supporter has been tossed so much red meat, he has no idea how to even process it into a coherent argument against Biden. So he's shifted from sexual assault, which they rallied around Trump over, to Biden being a crook. And that didn't make much sense either. So the money that's going to Ukraine and Israel, the $100 billion, well, and Israel. some of... Okay. Ukraine, there's no reason to be sending the kind of money with what's going on in this country. Perfect example, look at Gillette Stadium. How long have they been trying to get that football, that Army-Navy football game there. Now what are they doing to the people that actually had reservations? Never mind the people that had reservations. U.S. citizens, all right, getting kicked out of hotels to make room for people that don't belong here, that are illegally here, that are criminals, okay? It's a little much. So the, the immigration thing is a big deal to you? Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. He's gone from assault to stealing money, to the Patriots game getting overrun by migrants. Every time they run into one of these brick walls, the reason for the hate changes. They can highlight all the misinformation that they've been fed, and they get filled with anger, but they don't really know why. So somehow now the Ukraine aid is going into Biden's pockets, but the Israeli aid and funding is not. It doesn't even have to make any sense. It just has to satisfy this angry opposition without compromising Trump's superhero status. What's it about Donald Trump that you like? Everything everything. We need Donald Trump. He probably is the only thing that's going to stop us from World War Three. You know, I mean, he won the last election. He got cheated. We all got cheated. You know, not only is he for America, but he can save the world, not just America. What will you do if Donald Trump loses in 2024? Time to pack up and move to the mountains. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the mountains have to offer her, but the bottom line here is if Trump is not in office, exile is the next best option. Trump's biggest accomplishment is probably how easily he turned this many people into religious believers of his existence. He's the deity. What did Donald Trump do for you over the over his first term? Um, he just took great care of America in every way because he loves America. You know, and I mean, economy-wise, um, everything, everything he promised, he did, and and we need, we need a back to continue doing great. You find any uh, specifics there? She literally cannot put his infallibility into words, but she's gonna follow him to the ends of the earth because she worships him. My favorite moment, though, is that when our MAGA friend was cornered with his own logic regarding the legitimacy of the justice system. If Donald Trump is convicted in any of these cases, yes. would that change your mind about voting for him? It would not, not at all. It'd make me want to vote for him more. What would it say about the justice system if he's convicted? The justice system is a joke. If you haven't looked at any real law cases, the justice system is a joke. You get innocent people going to jail, you get guilty people that are guilty as sin walking, walking around. Perfect example, Hillary Clinton. She should have been in jail a long time ago. Bill Clinton should have been in jail a long time ago. Joe Biden should have been in jail a long time ago. But if the justice system is a joke, how could we trust even, say, a conviction of Joe Biden? Because you, you can't trust anything anymore. I mean, you just answer your own question. Watch that last part closely again. His brain was spinning, but his head couldn't keep up. But if the justice system is a joke, how could we trust even, say, a conviction of Joe Biden? Because you, you can't trust anything anymore. I mean, you just answered your own question.